Let's talk some NBA. I want to talk about 1983. I was 14 years old. And I pick up a copy of the Sports Illustrated and I see Moses Malone is going to Philadelphia. And I was a big Sixers fan at the time. And that was like one of the greatest teams that I've ever rooted for. Of course, now I had evolved into a Lakers fan. But that one year, I was a huge Sixers fan. Same year. Mainly because of Dr. Michael Jordan wins the NCAA championship with North Carolina. And I remember that. I was young. But although I was more of an NBA fan, After I did Dr. watch Jay a lot of retired, I lost interest in the Sixers. And I became more of a Lakers fan. And of course, I appreciated all the uh, NBA great players of the time. Like Sidney Moncrief and uh, Adrian Dantley. Uh, and, in 1986, uh, Michael Jordan beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in the playoffs in a most incredible game and a most phenomenal shot in the end. He scored 60 points. I remember that game play by play. And it put him on the map. He hadn't won a finals yet. In the 1980s, but he the was Lakers went to the star. NBA Finals eight times. They won it five. It was a most amazing run. Great dynasty. The Bulls, they took over in the 90s. And you could squeeze the Pistons. Jordan was great. But there were other great players. And I feel he suffocated the other players of the time. Because everybody just talks about how great Jordan was. And although he was great. But if you want to talk about the greatest of all time in a sport, let's talk about that. In my mind, there are only two players who could say they were the greatest in their sport? One is Babe Ruth, and the other is Wayne Gretzky. And in any other sport, it's left for debate. And although the debate is always around Jordan and how he matches up with All you gotta do greatest. is look at the Gambino's numbers. He was far, far greater than any other player. I mean, second place was a distant second. And for Gretzky, he was an amazing player. He just happened to score 92 consecutive goals. And when that's up, an Will Chamberlain team. was the greatest player. His numbers were off the charts. I mean, one year he averaged 50 points a game. And second place was so far behind that he was considered the most dominating athlete of his sport. And I think Gretzky and, and Babe Ruth held that same dominion. And I can't think as far of as any other fellows concerned. I think Jim Brown was the greatest. Although that could be debated as well because there were just so many great players. And I think the NBA as well has that same design. Lots and lots of great players. You can't really say who's number one. In hockey, I'd have to say it's Wayne Gretzky. And in baseball, it's got to be Michael Jordan was one of the greatest players of all time, but not the greatest. That's still yet to be determined.